viewers and subscribers across the globe, I want to use this opportunity to announce to every one of you that nobody should address me as a youth or even a teenager because I am a toddler. How does it sound? Okay. Now, listen to Tinubu as he announced himself to be a youth. <coughs> Part of your master process. You be there. And yet, I will be a youth. And I will be a youth. Wonderful. Now you now realize why you must not address me as youth. Because I cannot be youth together with my ancestors. Man old enough to be my grandfather. Oh yes. In my late 30s, nobody should consider me a youth. Nobody should even consider me a teenager. Call me a toddler. That is an interpretation of what you had. Tinibu just gushed out from his mouth. And some people there are listening to him. A man that his hands are shaking. A man that can barely stand. Oh, it's because they are now dressing him up with the jeans and sneakers. He's now calling himself a youth. Just to deceive the Nigerian youths. Make no get sense. Eh? Make with no get sense. Make this man crawl, enter as a rock. Then you go understand the true meaning of from frying pan to fire. Now, let's keep that old man aside. Let us address the Nigerian youths. Still on the gospel of good governance ministry, which is penetrating from the east, west, north and south i always say truth is truth it has no ethnicity truth is truth it listens and understands all languages truth is truth it is devoid of religious bigotry i want you to listen to this professor nigerian youths if tiktok and other entertainment Social media activities will allow you to pay attention for once. I'll be right back. My generation, we owe this country a debt of gratitude we can never repay. Because this country has given us more than we've given back. And I look at your generation, I feel really sorry for your generation. Our parents didn't pay a penny from primary school to university. When we got out of university in our part three, we were already on level eight. We bought cars when we were in part three. When we came out, you had a house, you had a car. But now, Nigerian youth, you cannot find a job unless you are the son of who and who, or unless you pay. In the nation where all of us benefited. This is where we are. And ladies and gentlemen, let me remind all you youth who think you will sit in boys quarters doing TikTok and think something will come to you. I have news for you. Life does not come with a remote control. You have to stand up and change things yourself. Nations are built by youth. All across the world, not the aged, you have the power to change things. You cannot sit and lament, you will continue to be used by these failed politicians who keep recycling themselves. You must change this country and you have what it takes. What it takes is you have the number. That number is what they need. 2023, they will come to you and give you money to either be thugs, 
or to be at their polling station. And after that, you will never see them again. Don't let them use you. Use them instead. This is what I say, ladies and gentlemen, use your PVCs to flush bandits out of government. Because there are lots of bandits in government. Those who do not care about us. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm old enough to have seen 13 administrations in this country. From that of General Gowon, when we were in secondary school, to the current administration of President Muhammad Buhari. Of all these 13 administrations, none of them came with this much goodwill like this government came. Unfortunately, they have squandered this goodwill. They have squandered this goodwill. The arrogance, Mizani complex, they are disconnected from the realities of our people. I come from Kazina. Many villages you go to, you bring out a thousand naira, you go to the village square, nobody can give you change. Because nobody has it. Before this government came, 50 kilograms of rice was 7,000. Now it's 27, 28, 30,000. Out of the reach of the common man. I get calls from my former classmates to send them 1,000 naira, 2,000 naira. You go home, you give a, thousand, a person 1,000 naira or 500 naira, he prays for you and your grandparents. Our people have been turned into beggars by this insensitive government, from the state to the federal government. The governors in the state have emasculated local governments. If there were local governments in the villages, there would be things to do. But the state governor has taken everything into the, into the capital. Everything must go to the capital. People are poorer than they were. Good. That is an explicit word every Nigerian youth must imbibe and embrace. That is the truth. In a plain language. Thank you, Prof. Thank you for speaking to the Nigerian youths. And no thanks to the generation whom you have acknowledged that your generation got everything free of charge and could not give back to the next generation after them. The generation of the crop of political leaders you have in Nigeria, who are called political leaders, the political misleaders you have in Nigeria today. No thanks to them. These men, they had free education. They went to public schools that are of good standard. Before they even finish, some of them, their NYSC, they already secured jobs, not one. They got offer. Every public system was working at that time. Nipos, Nitel, railways. But today, look at where they left Nigeria. Especially this very government. This very government under Bugari, the worst of it all. They have driven Nigeria to the middle of no return, to the point of no return, I tell you. Why Nigerian youths are busy wasting their time believing that their social media activity they are all, all of those things are good though but will that solve your problem i believe with this nigerian youths your eyes are waking up your senses are beginning to realize this truth oh yes and there is nothing much i can add to it all I can tell you, Nigerian youth, is to embrace the gospel of good governance ministry. The only political ministry you can find anywhere around the world. Waking up the consciousness of the people, beginning with Nigerians, the Nigerian youth especially, to understand hmm, that the Nigeria as it is today has been skewed, 
have been organized, have been mortgaged, and your future alongside with it. It will take it and you have no future. As much as this country do not have any future, what is the solution? Identify the right people. A third force. Outside, the recycled old politicians never do well because they recycle themselves. Anyone that have tested the forbidden fruit of the Nigerian political space, the corrupt system of Nigeria, do not deserve your vote or your support. Especially those who are not even participating at all. It is high time you get on board. Stop complaining. Stop lamenting. If you throw out job opportunities, you see millions of unemployed Nigerian youths scrabbling for few jobs. Because you have just mentally retarded political leaders. People that cannot solve a single problem. As your leaders, they can't create jobs. They can't create opportunities for you to thrive and expand or explore your potential. Nigerian youths, it's better you wake up. 2023 is around the corner. It's almost too late. It is either you make a choice and make a stand against every of this political class that have been within the corridors of power. They have all failed you. There are very just few exceptional ones. Very, very few exceptional ones. Identify them. Support them. Or else it will be from frying pan to fire. I know you will not share this video. But the truth must be spoken. Those who can, please do share. Let others get to know about this truth. I have just delivered the message. I am just a voice. The voice of the people. The voice of God. And the voice of our ancestors. I believe Nigerians. And I will get sense this time. I'm signing out. Drop your comments. Let me have your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.